welcome to this memorial thanksgiving and service and of course the celebration of life for a great man, a great father, husband, grandfather, great grandfather who lived a beautiful life. And I'm sure that as we are all gathered here this evening, our prayer is that we should live even beyond the number of years that he spent on this earth. We want to pray that uh, the days will be far and in between. We are privileged to have amongst us this evening so many distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and as well as our children as it should be. At this point in time, I would like to invite our pastor from all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, Pastor Peter Polanero, to please come forward and he will lead this service. Well, thank you, uh, please be ready with uh, the very first song, My Eyes Have Seen the Glory. It's my eyes. out the vintage where the grace of rock a stole. When you're ready, sir.
Father, we thank you for the soul that is departed. We gather not only to marry, but we gather to give you thanks. Because you are never failing God. As our father, Simon Cornelius Elimide has led this family. He brought them up in the way of the Lord. He guided them. He left a legacy behind. Our precious Father, as we give you thanks, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that this service, you will honor it as we celebrate life and on morning. Let this life be celebrated tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. You, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the people said, Amen. And the people said, Amen. We're not going to take our next reading by our dear sister, uh, Tore Bundi, to please take the book of Thessalonians for us. We do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ, in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so, we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Amen. Move the agenda forward by the singing of Shall we gather at the reign of worship do that sing? Our focus is on the way.
Um, before we get to the prayer for the Father, we can review uh, our Father, our Heavenly Father. First, we want to call on our Mr. Johnson Shun to come and say a word or two. Let's encourage him as he comes. And he can do better than that. And can I ask uh, Mr. Ruti the show that get together to, to say a word or two and then we'll take to his words too. So the elders of the days 
They refuse to continue to pay taxes without representation. And so, I learned that lesson from my wife. Now, to get back home, Chief Simeon delivered a very strong family man, a man of God, a man who actually did a lot of modern things in Ogun State government. Many times I have known about this. Um, there was a situation whereby when Chief Paolo was still you know, alive and running the show, Papa and what was that one show you got? Well, actually, two of the people that were put in a committee advising Chief Paolo to that. This little thing is quite an but this is a man of action, a man that had a lot of presence in our region, in your brother. And by all means, it's a great honor to be the one that has to be. He was guys about to be. And I also come here to represent the chiefs of the Mashiach. It is not, it should have been mine, but I was actually asked to do this because I'm not the oldest chief. chief uh, Dr. Moses would have been the appropriate person to do this in California, but he has actually dedicated me to, to do this on, on his behalf and on behalf of other chiefs from Nigeria. By the way, this is just one of the ceremonies before Papa is buried in October. Uh, in talking to KBC and some other chiefs from Nigeria, they want me to mention that they actually delegate me to wish Papa the family. This is Nisha Nikiti, who is not here, but hopefully they are watching this. And the children of Papa, Queen Elegate, Tonga Angola Elegate, Kola Elegate, and we have five uh, in London. We have several. Uh, we know that Pai is a man of family. A man of, you know, children. He has a lot of children. And guess what? All these children are very successful. Which Tell us a little about the man and the legacy he left behind. So by the grace of God, may the heaven, heaven's gate open wide and let the back in. What he left, you know, he left behind a view in the name of Jesus. Great the benefit of the good work that man did. And in the, in the, in the words of Ruka, I'll try to know what I want. But long after, we on. I want to office there. At here, at here, at here, at here. We do our And may the blessings from above continue to remain with this family. Always and forever. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Chief. Oh. Oh. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Brother Shaw. Uh, Papa has been a very great daddy to me, a great father to everybody. Um, the journey of Chatter. Really, I'm, I really miss him a lot. Um, the journey of Chatter has been probably like. 16, 17 years ago. All the kids are in abroad. We live together, we live as a family. When I'm not doing anything, Papa is going to call me. Hey, wrote to me, what's going on? Let's go to Masha. I said, okay, let's go. <laughs> then we used to tell you, uh, what's that? The Corolla. I've been to the Corolla there. <laughs> we take it to Masha. We go to party together. Every time, every time. And we came the same day to the United States. 
the mighty Nigeria, the same. It was a long journey. We all stayed in the wind, in the cold. When they came to pick us, the other one was like, hey, this is America, man. Yes, <laughs> But we thank God for his life, and I thank God for my mom too. Uh, we pray that the Lord will be with him wherever he is right now. Uh, we give glory to God for his life, and uh, we really appreciate him being around us. Uh, from my own family, uh, the show workers, we really appreciate him because he's been like an uncle to my dad too. But, all the way, we thank God, we thank God for his life. Thank you very much. I'm going to come on uh, Tunde Degwede to give us his own account of that. Uh, but before we call Brother Tunde, we want to say, is there any other person who might want to say a word or two, either to the family uh, or to our brother Tunde? before we pray for the family. So if you have a word or two before Brother Tunde come, come and uh, quickly grab the mic from me and say one word or two. We don't want to leave anybody out. God bless you, sir. Bless. Amen. My name is Emmanuel Ubesi. I grew up in Lagos, and uh, I met my Elibidi, the current Chief Elibidi, in Waiyek. <coughs> and he happened to be one of the people who didn't have a video when I started working in Waiyek. And he decided to put me in the computer room. To walk in the computer room, he was a programmer. And I did uh, the other process, so I used to process all the exams, all the West African exams. And there are a few things that I learned from this. Oh. He says to me many times, if uncertainty knocks on the door, allow faith to come in. Another thing he said to me one time in the computer room is, what defines you as a man is when you are not being watched. Whatever you do when you're not being watched is what you are. You process these exams not being supervised by anybody. And when he comes in as a programmer, his jury is to clean up in, in and out. And I got it back from him. But another thing that I did from him was, he's always telling me, you have to go, go to school, get out, get out, get out. It happened at that moment, uh, one of the time when I went to the embassy and uh, I had a little problem at the embassy because I was working in my head and he wanted some parents before I could travel. Chief Elibidi was one of the men who gave me a recommendation. He wrote a letter of recommendation for me. He walked me straight into the SDR's office, the Senior Deputy Registrar's office, got me another recommendation, took me to this guy, Zezebel, who was the registrar. I was a new register again, and I got me another letter that I took, I took these letters to, um, to the embassy. And yeah, the funniest thing is this. Tunde was five years old then. For you guys, you Tunde was, you know, we used to rattle him. In the computer, he'd be running up and down. Picking all the data cards, all the punching cards, all the printouts, and all the, you know. And now I come to see what he says. Wherever you go, leave a good date. 
the day I saw Tunde was in a gig. And we started talking. Oh, you? You were like this. It's a small world. It's a small world. But I learned a lot of integrity. I learned a lot of concentration. I learned a lot of planning. I learned a lot of operation. Operational management from my living. Because you sit you down as a child and you impact this knowledge that he taught. And those knowledge has followed me all my life. My work ethics. Because when you go into work in Kwahe, you know, especially in the computer room, we are locked out completely. And he gave us those moments that you have to trust what you do. You have to be strong in what you do. You have to stand up for what you do and then swing it. But you stand up for him. He will stand up for you because he's a man of integrity. He's a man that will stand by his laws. He's a man that will dish out what he has and give it to you. And that was it. We so Amen. And for those who are around him, his children, his friends, his son, uh, his relatives, I pray that God will give or so uphold and continue to give you through his legacy that will continue to remember him. Is there any other person who wants to say something? You want to say something? Okay. And you want to say? Just the The gentleman that just spoke about kind of what we are to something that is very important. The legacy of Papa, the wisdom in left behind, and I mentioned to all that Papa was a man of depth, of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. During the last four or five years of Papa on this earth, I remember he and I talked, and he said, Dotun, Dotun, I have a book that I'm working on. And before the book is published, I will be sending you some excerpts from the book. This book will be a legacy for a long time. And as I was going through the excerpts, by the time the final one was released, it was incredible. The book was made in such a way that even those people that do not belong to the Imashayi clan can have learned a lot of lessons of life. From this book. So um, when we were in New York about a couple of years ago to celebrate Papa's birthday, that book was launched. And this book is supposed to be in everybody's shelf. We read it and learn a lot of knowledge about life and ultimately. And why is this important for me to say? We are all in the foreign country. We don't have a lot of presence of the wisdom of our fathers and mothers back there. We are, we are here, we learn this culture, but the real culture, they say something, language is a culture, but culture is a culture. Anybody who reads this book can at least relate to where we come from and the knowledge that we were, the knowledge that was given to us. So, by all means, if you would like to borrow this or at least purchase one in the corner of Baba, please reach out to me. There are still several copies so that you can at least share your read of this man's life and learn a lot of lessons of life and how to live it. Just like Baba did. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chief Dr. Yes, uh, is there any other person? Okay, we're going to call on uh, 
Mr. Tunde Yigidi. Let's encourage him. God bless you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming here, honoring our family. Uh, it's very humbling, very humbling to see everybody here today. They are right. I thank my wife for putting up the color of this. Yeah. A party of this magnitude that was planned in less than five days. <laughs> Thank you, Madam, for putting up once more. Um, it's a very, it's a very, very emotional time for me, for my mother, for my siblings. But before I go into that, I want to talk to you